Hello everybody, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a cool browser called VimB. So what's VimB? Well, if you've ever used Vim, this is basically Vim, but in browser mode. Uh, some of the features involve basically Vim-like key commands in a browser setting. It's a pretty cool browser. Um, I'll give you a quick show here how to install it and how to use it. And, can see for yourself what the advantages to it are. All right, so here's what we're going to do first. We're going to come over to a folder somewhere on our computer. Uh, there's some packages you can use, but I believe the um, git clone install method should work uh, independent of your distro. So we're going to do copy. Clone that into the Vim folder. All right. Excellent. Uh, now there's a couple of things we can do to configure Vim. Uh, I'll show you here in just a sec. So we can do, um, if you wanted to, Vim. Config. Okay. This con uh, configures the local environment. So we can change where we want it to install. Um, we can also pass some environment variables to it when uh, we're actually installing it if we wanted to. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, used libraries, uh, these are some of the used libraries. Um, so you can see here a couple uh, variables you can change if you want to. Most people will want to change the look and style of the browser, which you can do by going to source. And then you go to, now they have config, they have but down here is config default.h. Uh, and you can override that by just creating your own um, .h file and then put the variables you want to change in there. I'll show you what kinds of things you can set here. We have some options right here, obviously. Uh, we can define you know, style. Uh, let's see, number of characters to be shown in the status bar for ambiguous commands. Hmm. Uh, GUI style, CSS base. Um, we can do something like, uh, oh, here we go. Here's a good one. We can, uh, we can change the, uh, oh, changing a read only file. Oh, did I not, uh, what did I do? What did, oh, okay. So here's a good one. We, if we wanted to, we can, um, um, right here, we can make the font a little bit bigger. So we could do like, uh, uh, let's see, let's do 12 and 12. And then uh, we can set the home page, we've got the download path, which is the home directory, uh, about blank, or we can, we could, if you wanted to, you could just type out a web page right here. I, I won't bother. This is fine. Uh, and you can run it without installing it. So if we you just want to run it and just to like test it out, but you don't want to like, files and all your libraries or whatever else I don't know, for whatever reason like you just you don't want to have to actually install it um you don't have to be root to do this either uh, sudo make uh run sandbox and here we go this is it um now I believe I can just, yeah, I can full screen it. All right, so how does this browser work? Well, it works just like them. So I'm going to start by hitting the, um, we need, obviously, we need to open up a web page. I'm just going to hit O. And you see down here at the bottom left, you see open. So we're just going to type out a web page, https colon slash slash html dot duck duck go dot com. There we go. Now, as you can see here, when I type on the keyboard, you know, I get basic typing, right? But check this out. When I click off, now when I hit keys on my keyboard, they're going to be registered as Vim commands. Uh, so there's a few things I can do. Uh, one, I can do if I want to uh, come to a, if I come to a web page and I just want to start typing right away, and let's say for whatever reason uh, the cursor wasn't automatically in here, I can put the cursor in the first available input slot of a web page by just hitting GI. There we go. See? GI. Now I can search for something. So let's search for something like uh, um, 
in the next tutorial. Hit enter. All right. So now check this out. I can use the J key to scroll down, K to scroll up, uh, H and L would scroll left and right. Um, I don't know if I can, okay. So that's what that does. Uh, if I hit, if I come to the end of a long document and I want to go up to the top, I can just hit GG. GG takes you to the top of the web page. Um, let's see. Obviously, I can use the mouse here, but uh, let's let's be honest here. The real fun of using the VimB browser is, uh, in addition to its obscurity, it's also its um, uh, it's it's finesse with the uh, the key bindings. So I'm going to hit F. Oh, check that out. Check that out. What just happened? What, what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. What happened is that every link on this page just got a number. So let's say we want to go to Unix tutorial, tutorial spot, right? What number is that? Uh, looks like uh, number 20, right? So guess what I'm going to hit on my keyboard? I'm going to hit 20. Boom. He have opened the portal. All right, let's check this out. I can scroll down, I can scroll up. If there was a left and right, I could do that, but most pages are pretty good about not having that. So we can scroll down to the very bottom, hit GG. Oh, we're back at the top. Now, is there any input fields? I don't think there is any. Uh, GI, oh, yep, yeah. GI, I mean, look at that. Cursor is automatically taken to the input field. Uh, if we wanna go back, we can hit Control U. I believe it's Control U. Oh, I was in the input mode. <laughs> Got to make sure you're not in input mode. All right. So we, if we want to go back, we can hit Control U. Control U. I believe. Oh, on. I'm doing something wrong here. Um, there's definitely, hold on, there's, there's got to be something I'm doing wrong. Okay, control U, nope. Web view crashed on YouTube, okay, never had that happen to me before. Okay, well, I just hit, just hit you. Okay. And then that went back. Okay. Okay. So what happens if I hit I? Hold on. Because I, I know, I know. Okay, so if we hit, all right. So if I hit I, oh, that just does input. So if we go back to open, let's try a google.com. All right. So let's do a test search. Okay. And then let's do like a F, right? So which test results? I don't know. Let's do a link number 30. And it says we're loading. In any case, and so what we're going to do, hold on. So now what we're going to do, we want to go back. So let's say we want to go back um, one page. Actually, yeah, if you want to go back one page, I believe it's control U. It's supposed to be the proper way to do it. Control U. Nope. Unless, unless I'm, unless I'm a misunderstanding. No. No. Oh, control. Oh, oh, no, no, that's not it. Oh. Did I get it mixed up? Is it uh, control I and control O? Okay. Yeah, you, you're watching me figure this out in real time. Okay. 
So let's do number 26, link 26, right? Is this like a, since web view crashes, is maybe this is a like Google problem. So I have never had this happen to me before on DuckDuckGo. DuckGo. All right, and let's do like a Linux tutorial. I probably did not spell that correctly. It's fine. F. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's see. Uh, F. Gonna... Oh, it's putting us in input mode when I hit F. Uh, let's hit uh, O and we'll do uh, 30 tutorial for beginners, right? What is Linux, right? So we got our key combos, everything. If I want to go back, control I. Is that? No. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. When you uh, when you open up the command uh, window with the uh, control, you can uh, hit your arrow keys or well, it it uh, you see example commands here that you can enter, and you can scroll with your mouse and see uh, what kind of keys you have available. Oh, I will show you one thing. You can open up new tabs in this browser, but it doesn't work very well, or at least it doesn't work the way you would probably like it to work. So. The command to open up a new tab is um, tab open, and I can hit tab to finish typing that out, All right? So now I can open up a new window here. I can go to um, youtube.com or something. Okay, and then let, let's try a different one as well after this one, so we get up like a history html dot duck, duck, go dot com and we'll say something like you know gnu ice cat versus uh firefox you know just a sample search here just try and build up a quick history on this this tab here okay all right so back should be Okay, back is control O and forward is control I. Back, back. Yes. Okay, excellent. That was okay. That's that that's definitely very reversed, but okay. So here's the cool thing you can do. When it comes to forward and back, I could if I wanted to go back, like say three pages, I could hit three control O. And we will go back to the page we were on three pages ago, which in this case was YouTube, uh, which in this case is telling me uh, crashed. But um, and so if I, and then if I, I can do the same thing if I want to go forward again, I, if I wanted to go forward just like to the you know the immediate tab, I can do Control I, right? And we can go forward to where from where we were. Um, so like we can go. All the way up here or i can go back back and then back all right so now we're loading youtube again all right now let's say i want to go forward three pages i can hit uh three control i and then boom that's the page we were on three pages ago right so that's actually really cool and of course as far as tabs go unfortunately like I said, it just opens up a new window. You don't actually get a new tab. Um, although, if you want, you can open up links in a new tab. Uh, let me do Shift I. I believe it's Shift I. Oh. No, command. Oh, I'm sorry. Semicolon. Jesus. All right, here we are. We're gonna do semi. Okay, so we do semicolon. Capital I, and we get. In this case, we got uh, the image, the um, logo image. Open that up in a new tab. Um, and also do Control I. 
Is this just gonna yeah it's just it's just gonna open up the image so let's go back right so this is generally how you handle uh so i'll show you how to do images now uh let's go back so let's do uh images all right so let's do uh uh kittens something like that kittens anytime oh forgot yeah this is the uh html version of just go hit o we're gonna open up a new web page gonna go to duck duck go regular duck duck go kittens okay here we go so okay input Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. No, let me let me let me restart it again. Let me restart it. Make one sandbox. Okay. And let's go to O. I go to O. And let's go to duck duck go com. There we go. Uh now we're gonna go to something like kittens. Nine. Okay. Gonna images. All right, so now I'll show you how to how to select images. So if you want to select images, it's uh, gonna be semicolon I. And we see here that links have showed up. Unfortunately, this is uh, so yeah, so that I is for images and then F would be for links. So if I were to go back and do like a semicolon F, uh, so yeah, do I just hit F or just hit F? Uh, we see here, we get a bunch of links. These, when you hit F, it's going to take you to the web page that has this image. So if I were to hit something like uh, 31, we see uh, we've gone to the page that has the image on it. So let's go uh, back one. Uh, so what we want to do here is we want to select the actual image itself. So we're going to hit uh i or in this case semicolon i All right semicolon i and then we get um these and then we get the uh the image links so let's hit uh 12 see if we can get this image right here well and um See, you get uh, anything like uh, re refresh, refresh, register, source, set, save, tab, open, open commands. Let's see. We get anything like a uh, refresh, or do we just uh, exit and then just uh, control O? Or control I, control O. Uh, let's try that again. This one, I'm going to hit semicolon I. Okay, we get our options again. Let's hit number th three. There we go. That's how we get that image. Okay, let's go back, control O. All right. And then we can also do semicolon capital I right and here's what that's now when we open up the same image what happens we get it in a new tab right so when you do capital I you get it in a new tab that's pretty cool it's pretty cool and then of course if you do install uh, the program uh, you also get a man page uh, that you can use that gives you a lot of details and stuff. Um, if you're wondering about like, you know, add-ons or plugins, yes, you can. Uh, there's, uh, 
instructions here on the main website about how to install ad blockers. Um, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if you can do that with the uh, sandbox. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we, okay. So let's see, debug. So I know it says here, they added some new features. They said uh, in, the, in the web view. Okay, these new settings enable dark view. Let's see what happens if I were to do, um, Oh, if this would actually work or not. Check something, just print, keep going. Or, oh, I'm sorry. That's not for the browser, that's just for make. Okay. So if I were to hit uh, colon dark node, what does this do? Nope. Semicolon. And do, uh, let's see, can I do semicolon, tab, nope, just colon, tab, and then we get a list of all the commands that we have here available. So I guess, yeah, dark mode's not on there, um, but it is definitely, I think you might have to pass that via the command line or something along those lines. Uh, we have shell command. Uh, I don't know what that did, anyway. Go back to open, we could go any page we want, twitter.com, something like that. Um, again, colon. Let's see what uh, options we have here. At any rate. So that's how you run, and if you wanted to install it, of course, uh, you would just uh, do a sudo make install. Uh, just hit enter, and that's how you would install it if you wanted to install. And then if you wanted to uh, read the man page, it would be just be man vib, and that's how you would uh, read the instructions that come with the installation. Right. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. And maybe I'll talk about some other browsers here in the future. All right.